part of its mission is to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and have a positive impact in the community. The group's annual convention is coming to Kansas City next year. Uh, Janine Uzel is CEO of the National Society of Black Engineers. We call it Nesby, and she's with us this midday. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having me. All the way from Washington, D.C. All the way. Because we are going to be the host city next year in March. Absolutely. So tell us what the planning is, what's happening. Nesby 49, it's our 49th national convention. We will be right here in Kansas City. We haven't been here since 2017, so we are very excited to come back. You know, the convention is a great opportunity for engineering and students in STEM, whether you are in pre-college, high school, or collegiate, to join us along with several corporations and mm. workshops and just a wonderful experience. So it's going to be great. We're very excited to come back. What happens at this convention? Is it the pairing of the corporate world with the potential future employees? Or are we learning engineering concepts? Are there demonstrations? What's happening? Yes and yes. Okay. And so you're, the last time we were here in 2017, we had about 10,000 students and leaders. Mm -hmm. We're looking to, to top that in, in 2024. But what we have is exact, 2023, I'm sorry, exactly what you were saying. We have an opportunity to have students. We have um, flight competitions. We have simulations. Mm -hmm. we we have workshops. There's a, a huge career fair where students are able to sign up for interns and have interviews. And, and so we're creating opportunity for the jobs. And there's just incredible experiences at our convention. The fire and the energy, <laughs> particularly after being separated for so long, yeah. we haven't had a chance to gather. And uh, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fantastic. It's going to be the place to be. It sounds incredible. And there's such a need in the engineering world for for all people to be included in these potential jobs that are, that are rewarding and that pay well. Yes, we are graduating um, engineering and STEM students at about 23%. We still only make up about 9% of the workforce, so there's a lot of opportunity as we graduate for hiring. Um, and so the, the folks that will come, the companies that will be at our convention aren't just from Kansas City. They're from all over. And so you'll have corporations from all over the United States that will be here to recruit, whether you're local, whether you're a part of the 3,000 student members that are here in Kansas City or students that are coming from, from anywhere, there's an opportunity for you here. And you don't just have to be a college graduate. There are both um, entry-level and professional-level opportunities. We have to say a, Ste a STEAM Village is, yes. is one of the premier organizations here in Kansas City that's involved in the planning and very excited that the convention is going to be here for Nesby in March. Yeah, we're looking forward to partnering with a STEAM. Well, thank you so much for coming and for sharing. Thank you for having me.